Joe Lamb with Clearwater Industries. We're doing a walkthrough video of our latest CW1000 high compaction clarifier. Right now this unit's treating 1,350 gallons per minute. We're completely automating the polymer dosing and mud evacuation of this machine. We've got an electrically driven tri-arm rake. Right now we're maintaining a 75% mud level in this clarifier. With the torque generated from this rake, we're able to run very high mud levels and thus produce very thick mud. We've, this is our autoflock dosing package. Hopefully you can see it. With this, we're taking a look at the light absorption in the clarifier and dosing our polymer based off of that. So if there's increased solids from a different cut or higher ton per hour through the plant, we're gonna see that and dose accordingly. On the other end, if someone loader goes out or conveyor goes out, someone stops loading just to fix something for a while and we drop below a set point here, right on this one we have it at 0.7, uh, it will stop dosing the polymer automatically. It's a very useful tool uh, to reduce the man hours spent on polymer dosing. We're continuously discharging mud from this unit. You can see we're, very, we're able to get very thick consistency almost looks like a ready mix concrete down there. We're very proud of this. Able to get upwards of 60% solids by weight. And this is a continuous discharge. There's no secondary dewatering equipment. There is no press or belt. We are introducing a little bit of secondary polymer here, but nothing extreme. This is a Model 800 stainless steel dry polymer system. Got a beautiful enclosure here. LED lighting, insulated, heater, wash down floor with grating. This unit is operating fully automatically and we're referencing that auto flock here and the pinch valve position here. So we're only dosing polymer, polymer if we're discharging mud and we're only dosing uh, primary polymer if we've got solids coming into the clarifier. You can see the system has a rinse process that allows for very clean and simple operations. It has a 110 pound hopper, which allows for two bags of polymer to be loaded. We've been running this machine for about four hours today and we've used, it looks like about a third a bag of a polymer. Uh, so we're very efficient on the flock. We've got eductors and venturis in the tank to mix down that thick polymer product. They've got storage here the roll-up door that allows for a skid loader to drop that polymer off here and operator to have real easy access up the stairs to the hopper. These are the dosing pumps back on this side. So again, one, one pump is going to the primary uh, dosing location will look up there at the center well and the other the secondary pump is dosing the uh, mud line This is just clean water for the chemical dilution here So 
So I'm gonna head up this ladder here. We'll take a look up top, see how we're looking. And then we'll take a walk over to the clean water pond that way. It's near the end of the day out here. We've continued to push up the bed level. We got more than enough amp draw on the motor. So we're just increasing our solids concentration. Hopefully you can see the consistency of that mud as it comes out. It's very thick. 